Well, Veritas Petroleum Services, uh, we are a fuel testing and advisory company. Uh, we do fuel quality testing. Uh, we look at trying to help our clients manage their, their fuel effectively and safely, uh, try and help them obviously with procurement processes, really look at trying to um, prevent damage to the, to the ship's engine, uh, to concentrate on the health and safety of the crew, and also to protect the environment. Okay. Well, obviously, the, the, the biggest issue at the moment uh, with regard to safety for vessels, crew, and the environment is the uh, imminent um, onset of the legislative change in sulfur content of fuel, where we're going from a global cap of 3.5% sulfur down to 0.5% sulfur within the fuel. Uh, what we're going to see over the, the coming 12 months and beyond there's obviously many new fuels coming to, to the market to try and achieve the 0.5% sulfur limit. And with that comes numerous fuel management issues, uh, issues surrounding fuel stability, uh, compatibility, etc. etc. So really from VPS's perspective, we feel it's our duty to obviously be at the forefront of testing these new fuels so that we can inform our clients of the uh, of the fuels that are being delivered to them, are they fit for purpose? Will they achieve the legislative um, demands that have been placed upon them by this global uh, change in sulfur content? And hopefully, you know, this will help them effectively safely navigate their ships uh, around the world. Yes, indeed. Um, most fuel is bought against uh, an international standard, the ISO 8217 uh, standard, uh, which covers maybe you know, 15 or so different test parameters to basically assess the quality of the fuel and, as I say, make sure it's fit for purpose. What we found uh, over the last maybe 12 months as newer fuels are coming to market, etc., maybe the 8217 currently doesn't capture all the potential problems. So what we've put together uh, in order to support our clients in gaining further knowledge on fuel quality is what's called the additional protection service. So it includes all of the 8217 parameters, but looks at things like chemical contamination of fuel. It will look at uh, further issues supporting reserve stability number of, of, of fuel. Um, with regards to distillates, we look at um, the cold flow properties and lubricity factors. So all of these have been effectively put into a, a test package called the additional protection service in order to give more information about the quality of the fuel that's being burnt on ships.